My name is Wally Pike. I'm the president of the National Association of Air Traffic Specialists, the union that represents the flight service station air traffic controllers in the FAA. The FAA is currently conducting a contracting out process on the flight service controllers. We offer this recording as just one example of the critical services provided by this group of FAA employees. The following three recordings were taken earlier this year at the Fort Dodge Automated Flight Service Station. The first recording at the in-flight radio position is the Mayday emergency contact between a pilot and a flight service controller. It is two and one half minutes in length. The second recording is the coordination being done during the emergency between an assisting flight service controller and a center controller. It is approximately three minutes in length. The final segment is a conversation between the pilot in this emergency and a Fort Dodge flight service controller at a pre-flight briefing position later that same day. It is approximately two and one half minutes. Thank you for listening. Release the stick, go forward on the stick, and then slowly back again. I'm low, I'm straight low, I don't know where I am. Annie, one five Lima, remain VFR if you can, remain straight and level. Squawk seven seven zero zero if you have a transponder. In level now. Annie, one five Lima, do you have a transponder, sir? I do, one two zero zero right now. Nine or eight one five Lima, please trans uh, squawk seven seven zero zero. On a straight level seven seven zero zero going up to three thousand. I am a complete IFR. Uh November one five Lima, try to remain straight and level. On a straight level right now. Rebel 15 Lima, yeah, I understand you are in IFR conditions. Do your best to keep wings straight and level and flying straight and level. We're going to try to get you in contact with Air Traffic Control Center. Thank you, sir. I'm at 3,000. 